Hello everybody, this is John DeVecca Films here with my first ever YouTube video. Now, I've never done a commentary video like this before, but I am super excited to do this because I'm going to be sharing the top tips that have helped me throughout film school, and also in my experiences in the past. Since I've always loved film and it's something I've gravitated towards ever since I was a little kid, I remember when my parents got me my first ever flip camera and I would put it on top of my little toy trains and drive them around. It was always something I was gravitated towards and it was something I started to take more seriously in high school and now I'm pursuing it in film school. So I'm super excited to share the tips that have helped me the most in getting to film school, as well as things that I'd like to carry with me into the future. And I feel like these tips are very beneficial because they apply, I don't think just to film, but to a lot of other mediums. I think this could easily apply to things like photography and digital art. So I could see this working in a number of different ways that are super beneficial, and I am super excited to jump right into them. Now, one of the biggest things that helped me in the very beginning was just trying a bunch of new things, trying things that I'd never even think to try before. When I was in high school, one of the biggest things that I remember hearing all the time was, you have to have the biggest resume ever to get to a good college. Like these colleges were gonna go through every single little experience you did to make sure you did absolutely everything. Now this is what I heard and it was sort of what I ran with. And I think there's some benefit to that. Of course, not overdoing it and stressing yourself out, but doing it in a way that allows you to push yourself and to try new things and to learn from those experiences as you do them. In high school, I was filming pretty much everything from fighter planes to horses to cars. You name it, I was trying to film it. And it allowed me to learn a lot of different things about being able to work in new environments. Like for example, I had worked on a video for a company called Air Combat USA, which was a fighter pilot for a day aviation experience where you could go up in a fighter plane. And one of the things that I learned from that experience was how to work in a fast paced environment and how to sync up multiple GoPro cameras in one video, which was something I'd never done before as I was only 17, so I was just learning. But it was a tremendously valuable experience to me and it allowed me to grow in a whole bunch of different ways. And it was something that at first I was afraid to try because I was wondering, do I have the ability to even do this? But I think being able to just take that first step and say, you know what, I'm gonna go for it, will really allow you to expand yourself. Being able to try new things allowed me to have experiences from these new situations that I could now apply into film school. And I think the same applies for, as I said before, pretty much anything, digital art or photography. If you start to photograph new things or draw new things that you think you wouldn't have even tried before, I think there's a whole bunch you can learn from it. And even if the experience doesn't exactly go your way, there's still plenty of things you can take away from it for the future. Now this is more of a film tip, but another thing that I like to do is to film as much as I can, especially when I'm in the middle of a shoot, because I always feel like it's a lot better to work with more than to work with less. Especially because if you're working with more, you'll then be allowed to fall back on something if your first idea doesn't work. But if you're working with less, you don't exactly have that same luxury. And when you're getting these shots, one thing to keep in mind is also to go with what your gut tells you. Since I feel like a lot of us, especially as people who are artists or aspiring filmmakers, etc., we all have things that we naturally gravitate towards, just things that capture our own eye. And I think that helps make it a lot more fun and interesting. Although when you're working with clients, they typically have visions in mind, there's still ways you can apply your own subtle style to it. And I think that really allows it to be more fun and more personal to you. And for me, that's helped me a lot in go with what your gut tells you. If there's certain things you gravitate towards, a certain style you prefer, then by all means, explore it, especially throughout high school, since that's pretty much all I was doing, I was developing my own style, seeing what I liked, and seeing how I could improve each and every time I tried. Now, one of the biggest things for me that was a challenge when I was doing this videography in high school was, am I gonna be good enough to do this? As in, you know, these are all new experiences for me. How am I going to navigate them? How am I gonna jump in the cold water and be able to embrace this new experience and deliver something that's going to make the clients happy? Now, one of the ways you can obviously help with this is to practice a lot beforehand and really research what you want to do when you get to the shoot. And the same thing with the Otramas horse rescue, I was always photographing animals, seeing what worked with an animal's face, since that's obviously a lot different than say, filming a person. 
So being able to take a look at what you're doing beforehand and learn about it as much as possible will definitely help get over that anxiety. And I think that plus trusting your own instinct and trusting your own abilities will really allow you to feel comfortable in those situations. And the biggest thing that helped me, I think out of any of these is just practicing. Now I filmed so many things for fun and I would always bring my camera pretty much everywhere I went. I would try and film as much as possible, take as many pictures as possible, just to try every single thing that I could think of. Anytime my family and I went on trips together, I would always bring my camera and I still do. So I think there's just a value to being able to practice as much as you can and being able to grow in that regard because through the practice, you will see what works and what doesn't and you will take your work from probably not being so passable to being a whole lot better and much more improved and refined. So I think there's just a ton of value to doing that. Now, while you're shooting, one of the biggest things that I like to do when I'm getting shots is to make sure that each shot that I get, along with matching with what my gut is telling me, is to make sure they're motivated. And this will help you a lot in the editing room. Like for example, I did a video of a Corvette C8 and a lot of those shots that I was getting had to be done in a way that worked in the editing room so the cuts didn't feel too abrupt. Now, I did this video a while ago, so I feel like I could do better now if I did it again, but I still had this principle in mind even back then. Like for example, there was a shot where it transitions from the road to the engine, and you could see the leading lines on the engine and in the road that sort of match in a way. Also, a lot of the motion matched together as well to create a more fluid video and more natural cuts. So that's another thing I like to do is to always make sure that my camera angles and my movements, as well as my cuts in the editing room are motivated. Now, obviously I'm only 19, so there's still plenty of things that I'm learning every single day and things that I'll continue to learn throughout my career in film school and beyond. But these are just things that have helped me throughout high school to maybe someone who's looking to start this out. And um, I would definitely say it's entirely doable and it is so much fun. I highly recommend doing it. As long as you practice, you put yourself out there and you show that you're passionate about this and meet more people who are doing this as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is my first ever, again, my first ever commentary YouTube video. I've never done one of these before, so I'm super excited to do this. If you'd like to see any more of these, I'd be more than happy to make them, just as a 19-year-old student, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next videos. Thank you.